create the best possible trading strategy that you can in TradingView for me, including a table showing the win rate and results. Okay, this is a little bit, ins this is insane what it did already. And this has created a full script, probably the best one shot I've ever gotten. It has full long and short trades, a full position table with a summary and an advanced MACD. This is like MACD on steroid. The code it gave me was pretty long and extensive too. This is mind blowing. It's also got so many settings I can customize all of the visuals and other elements. I can even customize when to enter a long or short. And by default, it's already extremely profitable. This as is, is already winning 40% of the trades and pretty large sample size there too on the Bitcoin one hour chart. It's also profitable on the Bitcoin four hour chart. And so let's take a closer look at what is actually doing here under the hood. Okay, first off, before I get into how this all works, I'm gonna share this code in my Discord server so you can pick it up right now, follow along with me to figure out exactly how to use it as you're watching the video. So be sure to watch the whole video to figure out how this works, but you can grab all of this for free right now and walk through this strategy with me. The Trade Tactics Discord is linked in the description. It's free to join. And I'm gonna place it right in the free section so everyone can grab it. It's in the working scripts. I'm gonna click this area right here and I'm gonna call this the Mac GPT strategy. And I'm pasting it right there. So all you would have to do is come here and grab this by clicking the download button. That's gonna give you the text file. Then you would come to Trading View. Sign up link for that is down in the description. It's free to join get bonuses for using the link down there. And then you just open up a Pine Editor tab. This is in the bottom left-hand corner here, and you can expand it open. And this is just gonna be blank. And you can just click the Down tab here and start a new indicator. Make sure it's completely blank and paste it right in. There you go, you'll get all of the lines of code right there. And then hit Add to Chart. And once you do, you're gonna get exactly what you have on screen here. This is the full trading log here, it has the R multiple, which is the risk value for the current setup. It's gonna have all of the elements on screen as well. So how this works is it uses the Don Chen channels. It has to be going up for it to want to enter along. This is a really good example right here in the middle here. So this channel has to be going up and all of the other indicators have to be going up too. So we have the Mac GPT, which the slope of the MACD has to be rising up at a certain velocity and it's taking that velocity and amplitude to actually determine if it's a true long, if it should really enter. And going off the back testing, just in some quick testing here, it looks like it's holding up not too shabby. Of course, this is just a one shot. So this, you know, what we can do with this is really build this up, bring this draw down, down, bring this below 20%, target is around 10%, but give or take, that is not too shabby, just for a one shot. Look how beautiful the entire uh, the entire visuals are. It has all of the visuals, full table on the right-hand side. So it's currently telling us that our position in the market right here is flat, which is true. We are, we are in a ranging market and it's able to detect that and tell us what the MACD value is, ADX, which is the strength of the trend. So this is a trend sniper bot. And I'm, I'm honestly really impressed. I mean, I'm impressed with what ChatGPT was able to do. ChatGPT 5 just came out today, so I really wanted to experiment and play around with it. I'm gonna be doing more videos on what this new version of ChatGPT is truly capable of. This has really been something that's highly anticipated. So I've, I've been looking forward to it all summer now that it's out, summer 2025. If you're watching this video later than then, uh, I'm sure we have a new version of ChatGPT by then, which I've already played around with. But for now, this is the this is the pinnacle of new tech that's available. One thing that I would do from here is not only just not only doing just regular back tests, but what you really have to do is check the robustness settings. So stress testing this. What we can do is find a nice little indicator here. It's called the Monte Carlo simulations and it's giving us there's a couple to choose from i don't have a personal favorite a lot of them do the exact same job but you can really just choose one of these and this is going to fill in the table down below and what you want to do is make sure that these results that you see on screen this this chart that it's giving us here for the results that is not just getting these results by pure fluke 
this is just one version of history. And Monte Carlo simulations, they th this is the setting panel here. You can enter all of the trades from the strategy and you can simulate different versions of history. So it'll take these price candles here, randomize them and give random future pathways. So I'll zoom in here just so you can see exactly what that hypothetically looks like. These are just projections in the bottom right corner, but this is how I do my, all of my, tra every strategy has to go through this. If you're not putting your strategy through either Monte Carlo simulations, there's also something called bootstrapping where you just shift the order of the candles through history so that your strategy goes through all of those different possible patterns. And just to make sure that you didn't just fluke your results and get the, cor the correct long or short trade by fluke. And this is really stress testing your bot. So you can add extra volume to historical trades. You can add prolonged periods of drawdown or chop the difficult trading periods. This is what you really need to be doing. If you're not doing it, your strategy is probably curve fitted, which just means that you fluked your results. You need to make sure that it's robust. So these are the statistical tests that firms will absolutely without question use. It's not even a question whether you should be doing something like this. If you're using something other than TradingView, like MT5, MetaTrader, it's, you can still do this. You could probably find some indicators that can do it is you would just click this top right corner here and then you can export the chart data. And it's allowing me to download it in a few different timestamps. I choose ISO time because it's human readable. And essentially here, this is what you, this is what you get. You get the open, the low, the high, the close. And there's a lot of numbers here. Look how, look how much numbers, look how much numbers there are. These are the other calculations that the trading bot has calculated. So you can download all of these and you can see the columns at the very top, open, high, low, close, and these all get randomized. And so the calculations here are all going to differ as well. And that essentially, if we go down to the trading panel here, the if we go down to the trade tester here, the full list of trades, this is, this is going to differ. So through random testing, it's called, again, Monte Carlo simulations, bootstrapping. Machine learning algorithms utilize this as a, a, one of their primary learning tools. As you can see here, all of the possible different price pathways here, these lines extending to the right, those are all different prices that the that could possibly happen. Now the, the upper one, that's gonna be the best case scenario that the price is going up. Very easy for a bot to trade when it, the price is very simple. But when you get into the center here, there's this back and forth. You wanna put your, your bot through those kind of settings or even market crash simulations. One thing you could do, depending on what you're sampling, there's price crash simulations that you can have. You can go back to COVID, sample that data and randomize that to simulate different variations of that crash. And so if one thing happened differently, does your bot capitulate? How much distortion can it take before your system breaks essentially? And you want to find out that threshold for how much stress your system can handle. Now that's, that's number one advice. So if you're in the trade tactics discord, you have any questions, feel free to tag me. I'm, I'm around, I'm usually always coding in the background. And so I'm going to be playing around with uh, Trading View and ChatGPT, seeing, seeing what I can get away with on this this new setup. This is incredible what we have. We, I've never had ChatGPT able to code the background uh, filled in in one shot. And usually that's multiple prompts. And this was just one prompt so far. So, you know, we have all of the trade entry conditions. We can start refining these at stop loss, take profit. You, if you downloaded that code, try it right now. Just type in, can you add a stop loss or take profit to it? And I'm not gonna bore you with it, but of course it's really simple just to go through it. But yeah, what I really like about ChatGPT 5, it tells you exactly what it's thinking. You can click to get a quicker answer or you can just let it think and take longer. So it's preparing the code blocks and it's gonna give me that code right there. And boom, just like that, we have the take profit and stop loss. We can adjust it in our settings right here. So I'm gonna update the Discord. I'm gonna paste this one instead into the Trade Tactics Discord. So this one comes preloaded with the stop loss and everything else you need. There's also a bunch of other strategies here. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I'll see you in the next video.